Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to download Postman and up, keep it up and running on your Windows machine. And at the same time, we'll see how to use it for API testing. Anyway, so come to this Postman downloads and if you go to Mac or if you use a Mac computer, it would automatically recognize your system. And because I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on this and then go ahead and download this. Actually, I'm not going to download this because I have already done. So I'm going to open up this file. I'm going to click on over here. So it's going to open up and it may take a bit of seconds. All right, so here it says that it's installing and we are waiting for that. And actually this is very simple. So after downloading in general, it should look like this. And then I'm going to click over here, workspaces. So let's go ahead and do it. And I'm going to create a new one. If you don't have any of this, it's okay because I have just created one. But even before that, they might ask you to log in. Just go ahead and log in and you are good to go. You can use Google login. And then here you would use create workspace. So here I'm going to create a workspace. And here I'll say for Laravel, and uh, here would say for Laravel application. For Laravel application. Okay, and I'm gonna keep it personal because I don't have a team over here. So I'm just going to test it on my own. Then I'll click over here, create space, uh, workspace actually, and uh, that's it. And right after this, you will have like this over here and uh, it doesn't really matter. I can close this or I can start something new from here and that's it. So now if I'm going to create our test API, so in general, I'm going to do it over here. So, and over here, you can just simply go ahead and uh, type in your preferred URL for testing. So here I'm going to do like this. Now this is a URL which should get me a JSON data if everything is successful. So I'm going to click hand send button and make sure you re choose over here get because this is a get request. If you want to post then you have to use a post request. So over here I got this response back from server which means that our postman is successfully set up and it is able to use and generate response connecting with the server. Thank you so much.